There are a few ways to check if you have a CCJ for free. You'll need to delve into your credit history and I'll talk you through how to do it now. A CCJ is a county court judgment and the quickest way to explain it is it's creditors trying to get the money back through the court. When you default on payments, don't pay back something that's considered a debt or actively avoid debt collectors, then lenders can apply to the court for a CCJ. This is when they've tried everything they can to retrieve their money without any luck. If you get a CCJ, it's important to pay it because otherwise bailiffs could get involved. They have a lot more powers than debt collectors. If you get a CCJ, technically you should get a letter, but if the court doesn't have the right address or it doesn't make it to you for some reason, there are other ways of finding out. Have you ever looked at your credit report? There are a few different companies to use like Experian, Equifax and TransUnion. I looked up my credit report recently and I used Experian and it was easy and free to use. If you go on the website, they'll ask you certain questions about your bank and other personal information. And once you pass all the security questions, it'll give you your score and breakdown. Be aware that some credit reference agencies can charge you a fee even if it's a free trial. So make sure that you cancel your subscription to avoid paying. So what happens if you find out that you do have a CCJ, but you've got no idea who gave it to you? It should say which court has dealt it out. So if you contact them, they should be able to shed some light for you. CCJs aren't the end of the world, but it does make it harder for you to get credit. It stays on the register of judgments, ordering fines, for six years. Bank and loan companies use this information to decide whether to give you loans. If you have received a letter initially informing you of the CCJ and you pay the full amount off within a month, then it won't go on your credit file. If it's too late or you didn't get a letter once you paid the CCJ off, you can ask whoever it is who inflicted it on you to let the court know that you've paid. They don't have to do it legally, so they can dig their heels in, but you can use a certificate of satisfaction or cancellation form, which is called an N443 on the government website. I'll leave a link to that below the video for you. Normally CCJs stay in your credit file for six years. There is a chance that a mistake's been made and if that's the case, you need to ask the court to cancel it. The official term is called set aside. Again, it's another form, an N244, and I'll leave that in the link as well. You might have to pay a £275 court fee, but it'd be worth it just to keep your credit history clean. If it's just a threat of a CCJ at this point, then the best thing to do is to work out exactly how you can pay the debt back. If you feel like you're looking up at a mountain of debt and you're a bit overwhelmed, it might be worth looking at debt solutions that are available in the UK. Some stop creditors chasing you while others write off some of your debt and lower your payments. There are pros and cons to each, so if you're struggling with debt, it's a good idea just to familiarise yourself with every single potential solution. In the description of this video, I've linked to a form on my new website and it's got a few multiple choice questions like how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe. At the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide everything you need about debt solutions, so click the link below, check it out, let me know how you get on.